Bueno. Hi, it's Josh with HRP Auto Parts. I'll be uh, showing you guys here real quick on a um, EJ206, EJ208, same kind of deal here. That's a legacy twin turbo B4s. We got a lot of customers that um, buy these and they have issues with boost on them, not uh, not running proper boost pressures or cutting out and and uh, just acting funny and they seem to work on them forever and not be able to get it hammered out. But anyways, I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown on how uh, the turbo setups work here. So on the, uh, on the left bank, you got the primary charger and over there on the right side, you got the secondary. You'll notice here on the primary side, it's the, uh, this has got the internal wastegate set up on it. As you can see there, so the uh, this side works just like a regular um, turbo DJ DJ works. Uh, crossover pipes, basically, you know, it's it's goes from right across there, and it's and it's wide open up to there, and and it relies on the internal wastegate to to manage the, the boost pressure. Once the uh, once that that turbo's up to. <laughs> up to snuff there and it wants to fire on the secondary charger it'll open up this gate here this guy's pulled off but you see he's he normally sits up there and he's got a little flat valve in in here and it basically works like a wastegate in there and that's uh what spools up allows it to spool up the secondary charger it doesn't have a wastegate in the exhaust housing itself it's just just that guy right there in the up pipe so here's the the intercooler set up on it. Now as you've seen with that with that gate there, when that when that up pipe gate is shut off and that turbo's not spooling, it has a valve there that closes as well. That way it won't back feed the pressure from the primary back into that secondary and bleed the pressure off. Have all sorts of all sorts of problems. Okay, so we'll put him down there and you can kind of get an idea of what, what that guy looks like. And I'll pop this off real quick too and you can see you can see that little flapper valve here in the up pipe. Okay. And then this is what's this is what's regulating the secondary. Let me see here with this. Okay, let's just it's just like that. It's not very big. It's basically just the same kind of size, maybe a little slightly bigger than a than the external or than the uh, internal wastegate on the other side. Yeah. I'll show you guys real quick here. This is the control box. If you're buying one of these swaps, you want to make sure that they're including this uh, this control box with it. This has got all your your solenoids and and whatnot. It's got your map sensor in there. Now this mounts on the right here, kind of in the in the engine compartment, and it uh, has these little plugs that all run across. Here we go. I'll show you one here. For instance, this is the one that con controlling that gate there, and these little plugs just plug into here, and that's uh, that's kind of the rat's nest of it all. So when you got issues there and these things are got cracked vacuum lines and the you know you pretty much you pretty much got to get right into it and do some troubleshooting cuz these things are starting to get pretty pretty old and these lines are all cracking up. Now I'll show you a quick too another one we get is uh guys think their turbos are blown cuz they got oil residue all over the place well these PVC lines here sorry PVC the PCV lines down here there they're not clamped and they get real hard and brittle and they and they'll just they just weep so you get a lot of oil residue blown around in there being pushed out and, and whatnot so it's another one to check also these inlet pipes these will crack and, and tear in here and you'll be sucking all sorts of nasty dirt and junk into your into your motor so Anyways, that's the gist of it. If you got any questions, just, um, I don't know, type it in the comments or, or whatever. But hopefully that um, helps out, get a little bit of understanding how the whole thing works.